Okay, um, so welcome everyone. Uh, once again, this meeting is being recorded um, and it will show up on, on our YouTube channel eventually. Um, so there are a few topics today. Um, and I think this, uh, so these are very short topics. And if you have anything else you want to discuss, please add to the agenda. Um, so the first thing, uh, is that we are going to change the uh, meeting cadence to from weekly to bi-weekly. So it will, uh, this will happen once every two weeks because people are going to be busy working uh, on 1.0 and, uh, and, and we, don't, we don't have as many topics uh, recently. Um, so if there is a need to make it happen more often later, we will, uh, we will adjust. Uh, okay, so going to this, anyone have any questions or objection to the change of uh, meeting cadence? Okay. Uh, if not, uh, the second topic is the June snapshot release update. Um, so we had a release candidate from uh, two Fridays ago. Um, uh, there had been a few cherry pick requests afterward. Um, and as a result, we are going to move our release uh, release candidate to uh, uh, a PR from last Friday. I think that that is a, that is the last cherry pick request that um, um, that is needed to fix some important problems. Um, so we are expecting to cut a new release candidate. I have it tested. Uh, manually by the cherry pick requesters, and then we should be able to uh, to finalize the monthly release either today or tomorrow. So that is, the, if you are aware of any release blocking issues, um, please let me know as soon as possible. So have you have it? Did you run a stability test or any other test, or what kind of testing have you done for this? Um, so basically, whatever the automatic test plus. For the people requested cherry picks, I asked them to specifically specifically test the bug fixes. So, is this intended for people to upgrade from zero eight, or is it just a test? Well, release? this is a snapshot release. A snapshot release. It's not. Uh, it's not uh, like zero nine. It's basically it's just a, right. a build that happens to be called release candidate one. What, what is the purpose of this build? Well, who is going to use it basically? Anyone who wants a little bit uh, more cutting edge and don't want the the, the daily build. We have users requesting that trying to figure out. I mean, if we don't do so the testing on it, any additional testing between besides what is happening for daily tests, what is the difference? Why do we call it release candidate if we don't? Well, I mean, well, that that is that is for the monthly release cadence, right? When we when we agree to the monthly release cadence, we we want to be building releases, shipping we releases stop every week. Doing monthly releases, no. No, we we haven't stopped building monthly release. Okay. We, so this is this is this snapshot releases our monthly release release train, and we want to be producing monthly releases. And if people want to use the new features, oh, so this is a release update, not release candidate. It's not RC one. No. Oh, okay. Then okay. No. Yeah. Right. Sure. Okay. Well, but this is the the, the release candidate for the okay. June monthly release. Yeah. That's what it means. But we are not going to recommend users to upgrade from 08 to this no, one. No, no, no. For, uh, there will be a build which will be called release candidate one, where we'll tell people to upgrade from 08 to that release. To get the, for example, right, the so site that is 1.0. Yeah, so it's release one candidate one. We'll not have 1.0 directly, I suppose. Well, we will have release candidates before we cut the final 1.0, but only when we have the final 1.0, we will recommend all the 0.8 users to just upgrade. Yeah, no, my, 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 my problem is there are a couple of B0 bugs that are related to 08, like sidecar injection, which right. kind of messes up the cluster. Right. And at some point, we need to tell our... So that know. is the next item, okay. uh, 0.81. Oh, okay. Right. So uh, the the June snapshot release is just to snapshot whatever we uh, progress we have made after uh, after point eight, right? We don't necessarily recommend people to upgrade to it, but if people want to try out the new features or the bug fixes, they can. So right. there will be no additional stability, performance, and and uh, you know normal testing. No additional testing. No. no, it's just a snapshot release for for June, um, and. 
which brings us to the third topic, which is 0.81. Um, so we planned, uh, so we found a, a bunch of important fixes that we want to, uh, we want to, uh, to, uh, to fix in 0 0.80. And as a result, we are going to cut 0 0.81. We have a tracker issue as stated in this meeting note. Uh, please take a look. We have around four or five different issues that we want to fix. And if there is anything else that should be fixed in 0.8, please add it to the tracker. Um, the plan is to cut, uh, start working on this uh, patch release after we ship the monthly release this week. Um, so it's probably around toward end of this week or early next week, we are looking to, uh, to ship 0.81. So, uh, cost as you said, the cycle injection and a bunch of other other fixes will be included in one A one. Okay. Uh, what kind of testing will it go through? I mean, who's going to test it? What is the plan for? So, whoever request whoever we re uh, requested the fixes should test the corresponding fixes. Otherwise, point eight zero has been tested fairly extensively. Any other questions about about the releases? Okay. Um, <clears throat> so the last topic today is Prow test restructuring. Um, so last week we have been restructuring Prow test, and now the. Um, the protest pre-submit and post-submit are fairly consistent now. Um, and uh, yeah, filter by Istio, maybe. Yeah. Right. Um, so for all the uh, pre uh, PR pre-submit, they run pilot test, book info test, dashboard, simple test no off, well, mixer test and the unit test. Um, and post submit are very, the post submit tests are pretty much the same test, except that we include ones, uh, uh, Kubernetes 1.10 uh, test, which currently does, does not run, unfortunately, but all the other tests are passing. Um, <clears throat> So the advantage of this is that if you remember, we used to have a big end-to-end -end test read in post-submit that ran for almost an hour. Um, now we have broken it down into individual test cases and it will help debugging as well. Because uh, if you look at the test log, you will find only the information uh, related to this particular test read. And the second advantage is that now all these tests uh, take around less than 25 minutes to run. Um, instead of waiting for an hour, now it, uh, and they all run in parallel. So Does tip, match the testing circle? Hmm? Yeah, the yes, that's, that's the secondary goal as well. We will be trying to match this test with the circle test as well. Um, so they are supposed to run a lot faster than before. Uh, and th thanks to the uh, boss code's optimization that Seb did, uh, I guess he's going to talk about that a little bit after this. Um, and eventually, since we are dropping the uh, V1 Alpha 1 uh, and V1 support, right, we will be removing all these unnecessary suffix. Um, what is post submit? Is your post submit? The last this one? are the unit test. Uh, the unit test? The unit test and building the images. Is that half an hour? The image building the images and pushing the images to GCR take quite a lot of time. So we are looking into some other optimization to not push the images to, to GCR, but to push the images to some local registry running for this test specifically. But so they are sequenced. The first is 30 minutes for Istio post submit and then another 22 minutes for the other one. So it's still one hour, effectively. Yeah. yeah, but it used to be it, the test the test used to take one hour by itself. 
So instead of 90 minutes, it's so around instead of 60. one hour, you have two half an hours? Instead of 90 minutes, it's, it's around oh, 55 minutes. 90 to 60, okay. Yeah. Um, but yes. Um, and then if you go to pre summit, uh, yeah, it's a similar thing. The pre summit test is include both uh, pushing images and unit test. Okay. Um, and then uh, the, the proud test in pre-submit are actually pretty stable now. Um, they are very green. Um, so we probably will make them required sometime soon if they stay green um, for a while. Okay, Seb, you want to talk about both codes? Is this me? Projecting? Yeah. Uh, I don't see you. Oh, that's yeah, so there was uh, just to talk about the post course, let me make this a little bit bigger so that you guys can actually read. Uh, there was a lot of issues uh, in Boscos, and most of them were related to were triggering. So we didn't see those quite some for quite some time before. Like Boscos has been running since January, and we didn't see those. And we start uh, seeing those when we were actually uh, failing to create cluster. Uh, so so there was there was environment issues, uh, uh, you know, uh, in, in in GCP in uh, GKE. Um, and, and probably uh, some some bad uh, way of creating cluster. So I, I fixed most of those. There was uh, leak, we were leaking resources where Mason would actually uh, fail to create a cluster, but still hold to the resource and then will build up. Uh, the other issue is uh, Boscos is basically um, as a lock on the resources. And so only one client can access a resource at, at, at once. And we were doing way too many updates. So I kind of bring the update uh, down and, and did a couple of things. And during the investigation, I actually set up a dashboard so we can see the status on all the resources. And it's just to compare to where it was, uh, I guess, not 10 days, seven days ago, but where it was maybe 14 days ago. So this is the issue we were seeing where like we, we couldn't catch up so basically, uh, Mason couldn't catch up in, in a recycling resource. And, and then there was some, I guess, some leak where this thing was will build up. So I felt fixed all the concurrency issue. And now we actually can see the dashboard and we can predict when we're going to run out of resources. Uh, the next step for me is to actually set up alerts so that the engineer on call knows what, what's happening and and maybe can recreate resources when we have a new peak. Um, but yeah, now it's going much further, uh, smoother. So um, it, it is definitely, like the dashboard is definitely helpful in, in understanding what's going on. So you have multiple components. One is actually resetting the GCP project. One is turning GCP project into a cluster. And so each has its own uh, actions, and like the dashboard helps to understand which part is actually, which component is actually not not fast enough. So. Great. And to set the context, uh, this is the infrastructure used by the Prow test uh, to run uh, to provision uh, GKE clusters to run the end-to-end -end test. Um, so what this system does is to uh, pre-provision the cluster so that when the test start, it doesn't have to start up other clusters and um, which can be time consuming and a little bit unre unreliable. Um, at the same time, after the test is done, uh, this system will just return the cluster uh, back to the pool, clean up, 
um, and recycle the project next time when 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 a new test asks for it. <clears throat> so if uh, if you remember, a couple of weeks ago we had some problem running the proud test in both pre submit and post submit, and that was because of this resource issue. And SAP has since fixed it. Yeah, so if, the, if there is, so the, the, the dashboard is velodrome.istio.io. And so if there is, if, if you see like fail to acquire a resource in your logs, then that's probably it. And you can look at, you know, at the logs and let the, the on call know. And, and we'll, we'll try to, or create new resources or try to maybe reset it. Um, right. But now, I mean, we have much more resources than we need. So we should not have uh, this. This should not happen again. And I guess we should probably add some debugging information to the release playbook. Uh, not release to the uh, to the on call playbook, right? Cool. All right. So. Anything else? All right, if not, thank you everyone. Uh, you all got 40 minutes back. Thank you. Hey, thank you, goodbye.